So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly retarget animations between two characters in the new Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2. Now for this to work, you're going to need two characters that share the same exact type of skeleton. In our case, we're going to be using the Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin. If you go to the marketplace, you're going to see a lot are retargeted in the UE4 Mannequin anyway. So with that being said, I'm going to be searching for Slay Animation Sample because this is actually the environment that I'm going to be using. I know I've been using this a couple of times it's a really nice environment and then as far as the characters go i'm going to my library and go all the way down and you're gonna see how much money i've spent in epic marketplace i'm freaking broke with all these sales they're having but we have an assassin here so i'm going to add this to my project and the project is called slay me bro right here I'm gonna check 4.27 and I'm gonna add that to the project. Additionally, I am going to grab an assassin girl here and again, add her to the same project. So we'll do that. And I do have the project opened already. And as you can see, we're gonna have this assassin and assassin girl populating because we just added that. So I will minimize this here and I'm hoping you can see this. It should be behind me. But what I'll do is I'll, you know, just adjust that. And now I'm going to delete this ball. I used it in a previous tutorial and we no longer need that. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. So what if we have Assassin Girl to have the same exact animations as Assassin without having to create an IK rig or targeting or anything like that? Well, you can easily do that. But first we're gonna make sure that these two characters share the same exact skeleton. So I'm gonna go to Assassin and I'm going to mesh going to the SK Mannequin Skeleton. I'm gonna take a look at the naming convention of this by just going to the skeleton tree. All right, we got pelvis, spine, upper arm. All right, so everything looks good. And then what we're gonna do next is go to Assassin Girl and make sure she has the same exact naming convention. All right, so let's go here and go to skeleton tree. And as you can see, it's the same exact thing. So to quickly retarget these characters, all you have to do is click on Assassin Girl now go to skeleton, assign skeleton, and we're going to look for that skeleton for the assassin male, and it should be, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger right here. And as you can see, everything lines up perfectly. Now, sometimes you might have some extra bones, like a cloth or, you know, like a skirt or something like that. You are just going to have to either try it or you're gonna have to remove those bones. But as long as all of the naming conventions are the same and the skeletons are the same, if you press accept here, you just retargeted everything from assassin male to female assassin. And that's pretty much it. And to prove this point and to show this to you, I'm going to go ahead and add Assassin Girl now. Press E. And then I'm going to go to Assassin, go to Mesh, and then I'll bring him in. Press E. And now we'll then convert them. And it looks like we're texture streaming pool over budget. That means I need more memory. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick because as you can see, it is kind of ugly. So I'll type this and I'll press zero and this is either gonna crash or it's gonna work. We'll see what happens. And it is preparing shaders still, so. Okay, so it looks like we're good to go. The quality's back. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the settings to maybe high just to help me out here a little bit because it is still compiling shaders. And I'm going to add these two characters now in level sequence. That's okay, that's fine. I will add the male first. And now I'm gonna add the female. I'm gonna move the female just a little bit closer. And now if I go to animation, I can go ahead and click on this. And if I go to animation here, I can go ahead and click on that. And just like that, we retargeted the animation from one I character to another that. without having to do any IK retargeting or creating any IK rigs. And if I play this back, you're gonna see that it is mimicking each other. It's copying, mirroring everything that we applied from the male assassin to the female assassin. Well, I really hope y'all learned something new today. I've been getting a lot of questions about retargeting in Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2. I am gonna be making another tutorial when it comes to metahumans whenever the actual documentations come out so I know exactly how it works before I make the tutorial. If y'all have any questions, let me know. And like always, thank y'all for supporting and help me by subscribing to this channel and liking this video. See you guys later. Artlist.io